This is the Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bara 23 no sneaker channel days. My nichi absolutely. My nichi mi to I bring you content every single day and it's always about sneakers. It's reviews and upcoming sneaker releases. And today it's that Tuesday top 10 that I bring you every single Tuesday. And I really enjoy bringing you these top 10s every single week. And what I've been doing is counting down from 10 to 1 my favorite sneaker YouTubers that I check in with to get content on a regular basis. And we're at number one today. Who is my favorite sneaker? YouTuber, find out in today's video. As I said in the introduction, today is all about the top 10, but tomorrow is all about a blazer, a night blazer from the Slam Jam sneaker store in Italy. And it's a brilliant looking sneaker. You've probably seen it already with that upside down swoosh on the inside, I think it is. And we'll check that out tomorrow. And I'll bring you more details about that sneaker tomorrow. But today it's all about the top 10 and who I rank at number one on my countdown of sneaker YouTubers. We're pushing the channel towards 200 subscribers and getting past that 200 subscribers is very important for me. So please hit the subscribe button. Let me know you appreciate the content but without further ado let's talk about this sneaker youtuber issue however before i do do that i want to talk about sneaker youtube ing i have been sneaker youtube ing since december uh, when i started dropping daily content i think it was december the 7th i started dropping daily content so it's been about two and a half months not that long happy to get close to that 200 subscribers mark but want to push on and get going um, but i do have an issue and if you are a sneaker youtuber or any kind of video creation person out there somebody whose job is perhaps to do with video and video editing I do need your help right now because I have a storage problem I had been storing all of those videos since early December on a, an external hard drive because I need to keep my actual computer clutter free so that I don't have too much data on there which slows down the editing program so I've been keeping them on the hard drive but the hard drives full and now I've got this issue of what to do what I would like out there is a bit of advice. If you could give me a bit of advice, do you think I should keep one external hard drive with about three months worth of past videos on it? And as a new video comes in, I just erase the older one. So I've always got three months of history, but after four months, then the first month gets erased and I've lost that first month forever. And hopefully YouTube will not crash, nor will it break or, uh, or close my channel down. Um, Cause that would just mean that I've not got the data. That's my issue is it's only stored in two places on YouTube and also on the external hard drive or should I buy more external hard drives and just every three months buy a new external hard drive and keep them past stacking them up what do you guys do out there for data storage regarding videos do you just erase as you go do you keep one week's worth of data one month's worth of data three months forever do you keep every single video you've ever made let me know because it's an issue for me and I'd really like to find an answer to that storage problem Okay, enough about Sneaker YouTube Ing. Let's get into Sneaker YouTube Errs and the number one on my list for Sneaker YouTubers having counted down all the way from 10 to two last week. And I've got a playlist that I'll stick up here of those videos. And of course, this video will go in there and complete the set of 10 Sneaker YouTuber countdown videos for me. And at number one on that list is Seth Fowler. Absolutely, hands down, my go-to guy for video content and for sneaker content so that I can learn about up coming sneaker releases and I can see different perspectives and different sneakers on his channel. He's definitely my go-to guy when I want to know about sneakers and when I want to see YouTube sneaker channels. So let's have a look at this Seth Fowler's channel and talk about what Seth Fowler does. Now I've been following Seth Fowler for a very, very long time. His channel is called Seth Fowler and I think I'm right in saying it used to be called Fowler Customs, which was a sort of tie up between what his former job was and what he's doing on YouTube. And that was where he started it out was that he was, I think it was Fowler Customs, correct me if I'm wrong, if that wasn't the right name of his original channel. But now that channel, he's rebranded it, renamed it Seth Fowler sometime within the last year, I think. I'm not, not sure if it's been a year, maybe it's been more, it's hard to keep track of these things, but he rebranded it with just his name, Seth Fowler, uh, and it's gone from strength to strength. He's now got more than 350,000 subscribers. I remember when he passed the 300,000 mark and he was just really chuffed with that. Uh, and he's now got 350,000 pushing on. It seems like he's just gonna keep going. <laughs> he's growing and growing and growing. It's a phenomenal channel. I can understand why people subscribe to it. Uh, and he's just, uh, the thing about Seth Fowler, now I've counted down these YouTubers uh, 10 to one now, uh, and I all the way through it there's been a common thread and the common thread was integrity and honesty and people you can believe in people who give it to you straight uh, and Seth Fowler 100% he does that he absolutely for sure tells you what he's thinking straight there's no sort of 
um, fuss to it. There's no sort of embellishment. I think that's the right word. He doesn't embellish it. He doesn't do that thing that I hate it when sneaker YouTubers do where they repeat the same point or they say something from the, a different way or they use different words to say something or they say it in a way that they haven't said it before or they, they say something that's not been said in these words but it is that sort of meaning. And Because and, what they're doing when they do that, which I'm obviously just being a bit, I don't know, funny with, uh, but what they're doing is they're trying to stretch out the time on their videos by saying things the same way uh, but in different different words uh, but I don't get that impression from Seth Fell I get the impression that he's just straight up he tells you what's going on maybe his video is going to be six minutes maybe eight maybe ten maybe twelve he doesn't really care about that he just talks to the camera tells you straight what's going on you get an honest opinion on the sneakers and I really trust that he's an honest sort of YouTuber and that's really the bottom line and why I put Seth Fowler at number one on my sneaker YouTubers list is because I trust him it's as simple as that. So talking about Seth Fowler then, um, what is it that I like about his actual content and the way that he does things? He's just a guy talking to a camera and you're watching me talk about a guy who just sits there and talks to the camera and I'm sitting here and talking to the camera. But yes, that, that's what it is, is he sits there and talks to the camera. And I just really appreciate that because it's not, like I said, I used the word embellishment before. It's not embellished in any way. It's just straight up, that I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and hopefully you'll appreciate them. There's no, there's no, no filter to that. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, and one of the things I really appreciate is there's a trend in sneaker YouTubers these days to go for clickbait and they say things like $2,000 haul or massive unboxing of uh, hype or, you know, I, I spent $5,000 at the mall or something like that, you know, and it's, it's, I think that's, even though they're talking about money and a lot of money, I actually think it's a little bit cheap, but you never see that, or never, I don't know if I can say never, but you never see that with Seth Fowler. It's never clickbait, it's never embellished, it's never inauthentic, it's a real pure sneaker channel where you hear about sneakers and sneaker content without any of that sort of colour and light and whistles and bells on it. And that's, I really appreciate that about his channel. And some of the things that you get on there are things like un unboxings and upcoming sneaker release reviews and sneakers in hand and on feet, something that I'm really hoping to get to if the channel grows big enough to justify spending money on getting sneakers in to just showcase for you guys. So please hit that subscribe button. Um, but yes, the, he, he's on foot reviews and things like that. And one of the things he does is every, I think it's every month, he does two segments, one at the start of the month and one in the middle of the month, talking about sneaker releases and upcoming sneaker releases. So effectively every two weeks, he'll do the start of February for example and then the end of February sneaker releases and every single month he does those two things as a repeating segment and it was that repeating segment that actually inspired the top 10 that I'm doing for you now this repeating weekly segment so again I'm sitting here talking to the camera which is just like Seth Fowler does I've got my weekly repeating segment whereas he has his bi-monthly repeating segment there is definitely a lot of inspiration for my channel that came from Seth Fowler so that's the bottom line with Seth Fowler and that's my take on Seth Fowler and the reason why I check in is that I believe him. I trust him. I, th I believe he's got integrity and I believe his channel. I believe what he says. A good example of that was recently there was a designer, a fashion designer who worked with a Nike to get a collaboration out there and they made this sneaker with these huge bumps on it. I forget what the sneaker was called but they were these lumps that were just, they were almost like goiters, you know, and, and nobody likes a goiter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but they were like goiters on the side of the sneaker, just these big lumps sort of sticking out of the toe box and the side and they, they, they didn't have any purpose at all, these lumps. I mean, they were purely for design, but I, I don't know who's whose design they were for, but they were they were just dang ugly. You know what I'm saying? They were just dang ugly sneakers. Uh, and Seth, you know, he was trying to review them and he was doing his best to sort of put a positive spin on it, but he just couldn't do it. He just had to call a, a spade a spade. You know, he just had to say, look, these, these, these things are dang ugly. And that's a really good example of Seth Fowler being that honest and that trustworthy. He's got integrity and that's why he's my number one sneaker YouTuber. I hope you guys check him out. Of course, there'll be a link in the description down below to his channel. He really is a great place to go to for sneaker information, for trustworthy content. And it's, I think I'm right in saying it's daily. Uh, I, again, I, I should probably check this out. And if it isn't daily, I apologize, but I'll put a, you know, a, a graphic up here and you'll see some of his uh, videos going across the screen that are like the, that are on YouTube there. And you can see below each one, it says how many days you know, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago. And I think you'll see that every single day, again, just like myself, every single day, he's gonna drop you that content. So he's a big inspiration for me. I trust his content and he also inspires me to build my channel. I'm just a guy talking to a camera, talking about sneakers and sneakers only, giving you that daily content. And hopefully, hopefully you guys trust me with my opinions and the things that I say. And that's why I follow Seth Fowler and hopefully you'll check out his channel too. If you do go over there, 
put a comment down below let them know that Tokyo Butter 23 sent you for now that's enough for me all I have to do now is tell you next week's uh, Tuesday Top 10 because that's where we're going next week we have a new Tuesday Top 10 and next week I've actually decided to do something for YouTube creators uh, because I've got a bunch of friends online a lot in, in the UK I've got a friend called uh, Not Just Hype who's a sneaker YouTuber I've got of course the son of some man in New York who's a sneaker YouTuber there's uh, SGN it's the Scholar Gamer Network Scholar Game Scholar Gamer Nerd, uh, sorry Scholar Gamer Nerd, I apologize. The Scholar Gamer Nerd in uh, Los Angeles, who's, uh, we're, we're in constant contact, these guys with me, and we're talking all the time. Uh, and so I've got these creator friends out there, but I've got some advice for everybody about a particular app that really, really works well. Uh, and it's not a sponsorship, sorry, I just wanna get that out there. It's just an app that I use a lot, and it actually has a lot to it. So then, starting next week, I'm gonna be introducing that app to you guys as part of my Top 10 Tuesday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get that content next week. Week. And also tomorrow, remember, it's that blazer that I was talking about from Slam Jam in Italy. Make sure that you check in for that. And with that being said, to steal a line from Seth Vile, the man himself, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Channel toro kuzihi onagaishimasu. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa osusumi des. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa channel no profil no video des. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.